Hello, I'm JW, and in this video we're going to have a look at some fuses, uh, BS1362 fuses to be exact, and uh, that's a typical example, that's a 13 amp variety. And uh, for those not in the UK, uh, the purpose for these is generally to fit inside plugs, uh, start like that. And uh, this is necessary because in the UK, uh, socket outlets are generally wired to 32 amp circuits, and of course that's uh, far too high for most appliances. So uh, the plug itself, which is rated to a maximum of 13 amps, which has a fuse inside, and uh, there you can see the fuse inside. This happens to be a 3 amp one, and the other, say, common value is 13. And generally, if you buy a plug, it'll come with a 13 one unless you specified otherwise. But uh, these days, it's generally uh, 3 or 13. Other values were available, like uh, 5, for example, but uh, not particularly used much these days. Now, so this is actually a plug with a uh, 3 amp one as it shows there, and so it just clips in there in the line conductor only of course, and of course you can just change this to suit the appliance that you're connecting to the plug, so uh, obviously if it was like a television or something you'd have a 3 amp, but if it's a uh, large electric kettle then of course you would put in the 13, and uh, the three colours generally are brown for the uh, 13 amp there, the 5 amp which you don't uh, tend to see a huge amount these days is black, and the 3 amp is red. And the other sizes available, which uh, basically go from uh, 1 to 13, are generally black. Those things include 1, 2, and I think there's a 7 and a 10 available as well, but they're fairly unlikely to see those because uh, they have very limited uses. And so unless you specify otherwise, you're almost certainly going to get one of the 13s, as that's the maximum rating available. And as well as in plugs, you can also uh, put them in things like this, which you would have on the wall instead of a socket outlet. And again, it's the same fuse in there, basically double pole switch. And uh, this is typically what we'd use if you uh, wanted to, say, connect a fixed appliance, such as a water heater. And uh, of course you wouldn't need a plug for that, and uh, you wouldn't necessarily want a plug in the socket right next to your kitchen sink anyway. And uh, these again work on the same idea. This would be on a typically on a 32 amp circuit. And then you just select the fuse as appropriate to whatever appliance you are using. Now just peeking in the top of the picture there is another 13, and we've got a whole pile of uh, 13 amp ones here. And as you see, there's got various uh, different makes and uh, brands printed on them, some which are no longer in service, as it were, because uh, some of these are pretty old. And uh, all of these are 13 amp, and although they've got all these different makes and models, the reality is that they're all going to be made by just one or two companies, because, uh, of course, most of these companies just have their names stamped on just for the benefit of uh, selling it along with the plug or whatever else they were selling at the time. And say so 13, of course, is the maximum rating. But uh, the other day, uh, someone pointed out uh, these horrible items, which, uh, as you can see, are blue in colour. And uh, if you look carefully, you can see that the rating on there is claiming to be 15 amps, which, of course, is a load of rubbish, because uh, these fuses aren't actually made in that series. And yet here they are, so uh, let's have a look at these and see what's going on there. Now, somebody pointed out these on eBay. Where else? And... Uh, as you can see, they uh, claim to be 15 amps, and they're coloured blue, which is uh, not a colour used for these fuses, and uh, 15 amps is not a rating that's in the series either. They also claim to be made by Busman. They are not made by Busman. These are obvious fakes, so anything printed on there can basically be ignored, because they're certainly not made by that company. And I've got a whole load of them here, because it's uh, basically the same price if you buy one, or a bag of 20, or whatever. And uh, it's not entirely clear why these have been manufactured, because, I say, the maximum rating available is 13, and the things they fit into are only rated 13 anyway. So making these in a 15 size is, first of all, totally pointless, and, of course, uh, secondly, fairly dangerous, because uh, if someone got hold of one of these and decided to use it, there's good potential of things being overloaded and destroyed. Now, at first glance, these appear to be made reasonably well, but as we'll see in a moment, just going for a closer look, they are not. Now, the blue one, of course, is the fake one. The brown one above it is not. And you see they made a reasonable job of uh, copying the dimensions of the fuse and also the style of printing on it. And to say, that blue one is not made by Busman. Uh, the brown one happens to be uh, is. And you see, in general, the uh, appearance-wise is pretty close to the uh, genuine article, other than, of course, it having the wrong rating and being a different colour. And if you have a look at the ends of these, pretty similar. And of course that's uh, just the same. 
and in the genuine fuse the point of those little pips there and I'll show this in another video is that the wire inside is actually fixed between those two little pips and that means the wire is in the centre of this uh, which is actually a ceramic cartridge and of course that ensures any uh, energy is then absorbed by the sand filling which completely surrounds the wire. Now these uh, do vary in quality a bit and this particular one you see has got some extra metal sort of uh, raggedy edges around there and uh, of course that's uh, not correct at all and have a look at the other end a fairly similar deal has occurred there and it may well be that the wire inside is not actually attached to those two ends it's just sort of stuffed underneath the end cap and uh, crimped down or pressed down so we'll just break this open and see what we can find inside bearing in mind there should be a uh, sand filling of some kind now here's the interior and uh, there is a sand filling which is surprising considering the uh, likelihood of these being a load of junk as busmen don't make one in this size and here's the wire inside as you see it's of a flat strip form it's uh, so fairly thin in one dimension and fairly wide in the other now uh, quite what rating that actually is is really anybody's guess it does look quite large let's compare that to a piece of uh, actual 15 amp fuse wire so here I'll have the uh, fuse wire from the fuse and here is a piece of wire which is allegedly a 15 amp rewirable fuse type and certainly in terms of dimensions it uh, width wise is uh, quite similar look at the other end there which is a bit uh, straighter there and again if I take that it's obviously fairly thin in profile this is a round piece of wire here now as far as dimensions go we've got the actual 15 amp fuse wire here so just go in there and uh, have a look there so that's what sort of 0.51 millimeters in diameter and this is supposed to be a round wire so as really at other positions it should be pretty much the same slightly over on that one but uh, it's not a high tolerance uh, piece of wire anyway so the base that's 0.51 millimeters in diameter and that is actually the proper wire for uh, 15 amps and uh, here we have the uh, wire from that fuse and so I talked before it's a sort of a flat profile so just measure uh, in one dimension so it's sort of about 0.14 there so 0.14 in that direction and the other way tricky to get the width there and we're talking uh, about 0.55 Now the uh, regulations uh, or BS 7671 actually has a table in it for sizes of fuse wire and that gives the 15 amp one as being uh, 0.5 millimetres in diameter so that's uh, pretty much what we measured there obviously 0.51 and uh, in terms of uh, cross-sectional area that's actually about uh, 0.2 uh, square millimetres so uh, the other one though which uh, say is a uh, similar width but obviously very thin is obviously a much smaller cross-sectional area that's actually only uh, about 0.07 square millimetres and uh, that doesn't really correspond with any of the values listed it's somewhere between a 5 and a 10 amp rating in terms of its uh, cross-sectional area whether or not the uh, fact of it being flat would make a particular difference I wouldn't have thought it would make a, a huge difference but uh, it's certainly not rated for 15 as it's considerably smaller than the 15 that we have here so it doesn't appear to comply with the sizes of uh, any of the other normal ratings listed either now, fairly surprising that it actually has uh, a sand filling and it seems to be reasonably well constructed which uh, really uh, don't know what to make of that and it's definitely not a genuine item because here's the uh, data sheet for the uh, busman fuses here the uh, TDC 180 as they've called it and as you see in the table there it only goes from 1 to 13 amps with various ratings in between and as of course we saw before the colours are generally uh, black for all of them apart from uh, red for the 3 amp and uh, brown for the 13 those two being the most common sizes so quite where this 15 comes from is a bit of a mystery and it's also not clear why anyone would make such a thing because it really doesn't have any uses and so all of the things it fits into are in fact rated for 13 amps maximum anyway so uh, even if you put that in there it's not going to be a suitable item and plus of course the element inside appears to be considerably smaller than 15 amps as well so uh, something rather bizarre there perhaps it's a uh, Supposed to be a 5 amp one and uh, I've just relabeled it or something but uh, anyway it's definitely certainly uh, quite a bizarre item 
and quite surprising as how well it's actually made. But uh, anyway, I'm not quite sure what to make of that, but if uh, you have any comments on that, please put them in the comments section below. And until next time, thanks for watching.